Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name's Anushka, if you're new here. Hi. Yes, I'm going to be starting off the video like this because we are going to be doing an eyeshadow review today and it's going to be on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And this one is the... This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette and it's the one that stood out to me the most. So it looks like this. This palette is literally me in a palette. Like... It's gorgeous. It is so stunning. But anyways, before I get into all into this video, basically, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to. Let me see. Let me see. Today's one goes to Roshni Chukuri. Chukuri. I hope I'm saying that right. But thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you have done so. It feels so good to be filming. I know lately I have been just doing like more food, a lot of food, a lot of food, and more like vlog videos. It's something that I do. I also just got a new camera and I was inspired to just, you know, film and do more vlog videos. But it's something that I do want to still do on my channel, but I've just been doing a lot, a lot of that lately. But I still want to stick to my main makeup and beauty lifestyle related videos yeah, i've always said since the beginning that i wanted a bit of everything on my channel and that's just how it's going to be like some days you're just going to see the most randomest video you'll always get your beauty videos you'll always this will always be a place where you can see reviews of like latest makeup launches and stuff like that so yeah that's enough rambling back onto the video so yeah, I got the Armed and Gorgeous palette. This was around £15 and I bought this from the um, actual Morphe UK website. And weirdly enough, I have the V2 thing on the back, which is weird. Um, there has been so, so much drama around this damn palette. Well, all of them, to be honest. Um, just a bit about it. Basically, some people... Um, reviewed some of the PR ones and I think some also purchased I think you were able to purchase it from a store like an early kind of early bird kind of purchase and a lot of people complained about it being it being very patchy I mean I remember I watched Jackie Ina's tutorial before buying these and I saw how patchy they were like and she wasn't even like doing it on purpose like you, you could tell like the shadows were just not working and I was just like, I'm not gonna buy these. Apparently they've chucked away all that stock, the old stock, and made new ones, improved ones, apparently, and they are much better. I mean, the swatches on Jacqueline, they look really nice, and I do love Jacqueline, okay? I don't care what anyone says. It's hard for me to hate on someone, to be honest, and if I don't agree with someone or an influencer, I just unsubscribe and move on with life. I think we should all learn to be like this. There's just so much going on in the beauty community. I'm just like, what the hell? Like, sometimes I just don't even want to be a part of it. I love makeup and I just feel like people forget about that. And it's just all about money and greed. And I'm just... Come on now, guys. I just went on a complete tangent right now. Anyways, I just love this palette because it's got a bunch of, like, oranges, mustardy colours. And there is a green, like, khaki colour. And I love that colour combination on my eyes. Um, you guys know from the Subculture palette and from the Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette that I always use. I just love that colour combination. So I really wanted to try this one. And I'm going to see. I have done a bit of baking because I don't want any fallout on my base. Okay. Here's a little close-up of the palette. I mean, the colours just look so stunning, so bright. Let's just hope that it looks the same on the eyes. And yeah, it just comes in a simple packaging. It's really pretty. It, it screams Jacqueline to me, honestly. But there's a mirror. There is a mirror, guys. A little mirror. I think we have to do swatches first. So I'm just going to roll that up and then, yeah. Okay, this is my first time kind of swatching these. So let's see. This first shade is VIP. I mean, that's okay. Then we have Access. I can say I'm quite happy with that swatch. Like, I'm so happy with that. And then next we have Girl Trip. Which... Sorry, that was a wrong swatch. That was the first one I did. But anyways, this is Girl Trip. I was like, why is it silver? That is pretty. I'm happy with that. I do have to say that this one, Girl Trip, was, is a bit powdery when you touch it. But anyways, the next one is Coin, which is a stunning, stunning shade. And then we have 
agent. I'm happy with that swatch. Next one is the beautiful khaki color, which is top secret. And it didn't feel dry or anything. Okay, so that's top secret. Then we have smooth criminal. And then we have secure. I'm happy with them mattes. Like, it's obviously going to look different on the eyes, but so far swatching them, like, they're not that bad. And then we have Prowl, which is a beautiful deep brown. That is beautiful. And then we have Classified. I think that's one of my favourite shades. That is so beautiful. Okay, so those are all the shades. It's not like I have a cloth or anything to wipe off the excess shadow. Just wipe it on my PJs, my beautiful PJs. My overall first impressions on the shadows are kind of okay. Like, I'm, I, I think they're good. Like, I'm, I'm hoping they're going to look good on the eyes. But they felt nice. Some of the shadows, like, maybe, like, Girl Trip and Coin. No, Coin was okay, but Girl Trip especially, it felt kind of dry. And this one as well. Felt very, like, dry. And normally when I touch, like, shimmery shadows, I expect them to be kind of, like, almost have that, like, wet feeling, but it's not wet. But anyways, we're gonna see if this is gonna be okay on the eyes. The agent is this shade right here. I'm just gonna put this all in the crease. And I'm not gonna do a cut crease because I feel like when sh eyeshadows come out and they don't really work that well, people tend to do cut creases because it's easier to make a beautiful look with eyeshadows that don't work that well. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to really try and blend these and make like an effortless kind of eyeshadow look. So far, I'm really happy with how this eyeshadow is applying. I'm not going to lie. You guys know I'm always honest with you. Okay, and then I'm going to take Access, which is a much yellowy shade. This is Access right here. And I'm going to take a bit of this and start blending this into Agent. I really want that kind of yellow gradient. Okay, I'm happy with that. I don't know if I should take the car key. I think we need to take the car key. I'm really going to put this into the crease. I'm going to take Agent again and half on the green, half on Agent. This tip I got off, um, well, so I always have been doing it, but I didn't know how to explain it. So I got it off um, Makeup by Mitchell. Mitchell, you guys know Mitchell? He did a uh, makeup on Jeffree Star recently. And he explains his technique really well. It makes sense, you know? I can't say that I'm mad at this colour, I have to be honest with you guys, like... I don't know if uh, Jackie Aina used the same... By the way, Jackie Aina is like one of my favourite YouTubers out there, just putting, just putting that out, okay? Um, but yeah, when she used the palette, I don't know if she used the same one in the video, but when she applied that khaki green shade, it was just so patchy. But this is not applying like this, like it's, I'm very happy with this. So next I think I'm going to use that really dark brown shade, which is called Prowl. This one right here. And I'm just going to apply this on the outer corner here. Just really... There is some fallout, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. It's not going patchy or darker when you put it on the on the khaki. I mean, it's going darker, but that's okay. Like I, that's normal. It doesn't go that patchy dark. What, just like the subculture would do. Because when you would put something darker on, like the khaki shades, it will go kind of like this black shade and patchy. Whilst this is just normal. It's just darker where I put the khaki, which is normal. It's like layering darker shadows. 
think next we're gonna grab some of I think I have to use classified as I usually do apply my shimmer shadows like with a finger so let's see it's, it's quite dry even with the finger it's beautiful but it's very dry like it's not as beaming as I would like it to be you know what I'm gonna think I'm gonna go in with coin but I'm gonna first wet it That is pigmented. I don't know, they, it's like they're flat, they're flat shimmers. I don't know. I'm gonna take some of Access, which is the yellow, and kind of blend the edges here. I don't know, I'm digging that look, you know. I love. Oh, oh. I'm loving how like it's super like softly blended on that corner. I love coin. I feel like that middle shade has disappeared kind of. Even the khaki, but that's because I put stuff on top. I don't know. I'm gonna try and put some more khaki underneath actually because I do really like that shade and I want it to stand out. I just think it's such a beautiful shade. I'm just gonna take smooth crim criminal. Just blend this closer to the lash line. Smooth Criminal is the lighter brown right here. And I'm going to wet a little brush and use VIP. VIP is not really a shade I would go for. So this is the finished look, I guess. But I'm actually very happy. It looks all smooth. I wish I stayed a bit lower with the coin shade, but I don't know. Let's put some mascara on. This is the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. I love this this mascara at the moment. And it's like, it was meant to be because I randomly picked this up for my 20 pound makeup challenge video. And it's just one that I've been using every day now. All right, so this is the finished look. I'm just gonna do the other side and I will be right back. Alright guys, so this is a close-up of the eyeshadow. I am really, 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 really happy with it. It's just, I don't know, I'm really, like, would I use the palette again? Yeah. Like, I love how, like, softly, like, blended it is. And it was effortless. Like, I literally did this eye in, like, five minutes. No joke. Like, barely any blended needed. So yeah, I'm really, really shocked with the overall result of this eye look. Like, it was really easy um i'm very impressed by the mattes like i have to say that but i'm quite disappointed with the shimmers reason being is because i own all of jacqueline hill's palette from the first one that she actually made um the actual original you know the black one that she made i still have it i think maybe i give it to my mom but anyways i literally have and bought every single jacqueline hill product with my own money i even have becca champagne pop i literally have everything from her i have experience using you know her other products that are, are really really good and the big original jacqueline hill palette her shimmers in there are so much more creamier they're really soft and moussey like and they just go on like literally like a foil of shadow whilst these is like they're chunky and flaky i know it looks nice now but that was a lot of layering that's a lot of layering that needed to be done and i still feel like it looks like a flat shimmer it's not like a shimmer shimmer like the ones in the original jacqueline hill palette i don't know why i keep saying the original she had the the big white one basically so yeah i'm really disappointed by them i mean uh what's it called girl chip to works really nice as a highlight i have to be honest like that's a nice pretty gold highlight it make me look ashy or anything but yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed by um, the mattes. Like, very impressed. Am I going to go... Am I thinking I'm refunding it? No, because I'm actually really happy with the colour combination. And when you wet the shimmers, they work okay. And I'm just really happy with this eye look. Like, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's so different to what I usually do as well. But I just love it. I love it so much. 
And also the shade VIP, the white shade, like literally so pigmented in the inner corner. Like I see myself using that as an inner corner highlight a lot. No, I just wish like this shade classified would be better. Like I'm really disappointed by this shade mostly. Uh, is it worth the 15 pounds? I mean, if you get a good palette, I think it is to be honest. Like the color combinations that she's made for each palette, they look so cool. This is a 15 pound palette. It's almost the price of a L'Oreal palette. And you get so much beautiful colors in this one. And they're like bigger eyeshadows like come on like when you if you compare this to a 15 pound Laura palette like I would definitely choose this one because you get beautiful shades they're pigmented mattes that show up on my skin color first of all and just it's just interesting like it's beautiful and the colors are really easy to blend whilst I haven't had good experiences with Laura eyeshadows to be honest with you guys if I look at it in that perspective then yes I think it's worth the 15 pounds let me know what you guys think in the comments below remember please be kind to everyone whether that's face to face or um, over the internet, you know, even if you don't show your identity, please just remember to be nice. All of you commenting on my damn teeth, you know, screw you. I'm just gonna say it now. I'm so fed up of people thinking they have the right to comment on my appearance. And this is what I mean. I'm just sick of the negativity. You people that don't like my teeth, yeah, I'm giving you a big smile, okay? And if you don't like something, just move on. Don't do anything. Just move on, click the cross button on the right hand side of your screen and just get on with your day. I know I have a, it's, it doesn't seem like a long time, but it's been a while since I haven't sat here and done like a makeup video. So it feels good to be doing these videos again. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Yeah, let me know. And if you found this review helpful and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in my next video.